How to perform good FVL and DLCO tests with Easy One Pro. Hello and welcome to this educational movie. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. After watching this video, you will know how to set up the device, turn on the device, enter patient data, how to perform a flow volume loop and diffusion capacity test on the patient with a special focus on how to instruct the patient correctly and motivate him to perform the tests correctly. Please start with checking that the DLCO hose is connected. Open the gas tank completely and set the pressure to 5 to 6 bar. Now start the device by pushing the on-off button. You do not need to consider any warm-up time. Before you can enter the patient data, you need to authenticate yourself as a user. Please click the button Patients, then press New to enter a new patient. Enter the patient demographics and then press OK to save the data. Now select the patient and then click the button Test to select the respective examination you want to perform on the patient. To start the examination of the patient, perform a spirometry test first, for example, an FVC or FVL test. In this case, we show an FVL test. Please disconnect the handheld sensor in order to perform the spirometry test. Now insert the spirit. Please do not remove the plastic wrapped around the mouthpiece of the spirit at this point. Now select the FVL test by pressing the corresponding button. Please confirm the environmental measurements BTPS. The temperature, humidity, and altitude are automatically measured by the device. Leave the plastic wrapped around the mouthpiece to avoid flow during initialization. Press the button OK when the spirit is blocked. Please instruct the patient to breathe normally in the beginning, then take a deep breath, then exhale as forcefully and quickly as possible in the first second, then to keep on exhaling for at least six seconds, and then to take another deep breath in. Now please remove the plastic wrapped around the mouthpiece. Ask the patient to put on the nose clip and sit up straight with both feet flat on the floor. Now, ask the patient to place their teeth around the mouthpiece and close their lips. Please ask the patient not to bite or block the spirette with his tongue or teeth and to avoid leaks. The patient should breathe normally in the beginning, then should take a maximum deep breath, and should then exhale with maximum force. Please keep motivating the patient to blow out as much air as possible until the display shows deep breath in. Then, ask the patient to take a deep breath in. Please provide the patient with a motivating feedback, like, well done, and tell him that the test has to be repeated at least two more times. After a minimum of three acceptable trials, the spirometry test is over and the patient can be told to breathe normally and rest. In preparation for the next test, please explain to the patient that this test will measure the diffusion capacity of the lungs. For the next test, please insert the DLCO bariat. and mount the unit onto the flow sensor. Please instruct the patient to breathe normally for a few breaths, then to exhale completely, then to inhale deeply and quickly and to hold the breath for 10 seconds, then to exhale quickly for about three to five seconds, and to inhale again to stop the test. 
Please press the button DLCO to start the respective test. Keep the sensor in your hand during initialization. This is important so that the valve can close and open properly. The device performs a fully automatic five-point calibration prior to every test. Please wait until initialization is finished and the device shows tidal breathing. Then, ask the patient to put on the nose clip and sit up straight with both feet flat on the floor. Now please ask the patient to place their teeth around the mouthpiece and close their lips. Ask the patient not to bite or block the spirette with his tongue or teeth and to avoid leaks. Ask the patient to breathe normally. Then ask the patient to exhale completely. During exhalation, please press the button Activate when the display shows deep breath in. Ask the patient to take one deep breath of test gas and to inhale deeply and quickly as much as he can. Ask the patient to hold his breath for 10 seconds. Then to exhale quickly for about three to five seconds. He does not have to exhale completely. Ask the patient to inhale again in order to stop the test. Please provide the patient with a motivating feedback like, well done, and tell him that the test has to be repeated at least one more time. The curve needs to be above the target inspiratory volume, which is 85% of the patient's vital capacity. The waiting time between trials is indicated on the display. After a minimum of two acceptable trials, the DLCO test is over. To summarize, tell the patient to breathe normally for a few breaths. Please tell the patient to exhale completely. Press the activate button while the patient is exhaling. Tell the patient to inhale deeply and quickly and to hold the breath for 10 seconds. To exhale quickly for about 3 to 5 seconds. Then, to inhale again to stop the test.